Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Terra. Hope everybody's well. I had a very long day at the bread and butter job. My brain's a little fried, so I think this is going to be my last reading for the night because Big Mama said you got to go to bed. Okay. Mm. But, Virgo, we're throwing them down for you for January 2022, round two. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do if you choose to do with the message given by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings or just leave the cards on the table altogether. It is up to you. But keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. And I know round two isn't normally the cross watchers read, but I'm going to do the all about you read later on in the month. So right now, I'm just trying to see if I missed anything in the last reading. See if I can get any more messages out. Tell the untold story. Okay. If you're new, think we might vibe and stuff, you want to come hang out some more, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're returning, welcome back. I have opened up comments again. If you'd like to leave a comment, feel free. Just please don't be a jerk. Okay? That's all I ask. If you're a jerk, I'm going to have to take aggressive action, and I really don't want to do that. I'm trying to be a more peaceful Sagittarius. Anyway. Okay. Never make a life altering decision based on tarot reading, and that is the last little bit of advice I have for you. Let's let the cards talk. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate you. I am grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring. Virgo to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. <coughs> what do we got? bottom of the deck with a fortune reversed there's unfinished business possibly in a family situation we're not going to go any further into this until we get the other person's energy Let's see what we got I'm flying out at me try that again Oh my gosh. People be blowing up my phone. Why people be blowing up my phone? Every time I try to sit down and read cards, they just blow up my phone. I can sit here for an hour and do other things. Nothing. Second I throw down cards, I get like 20 messages come in. I'll deal with y'all in a minute. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. Could be a new start. Laying the groundwork. First. Emperor. Go with the steampunk. All right. Yes, the Wheel of Fortune reverse was technically the first major out, but it is associated with more than one sign. So. Oh, what did I do here? You do not go in that deck. You do not go in that deck. You do not go in that deck. But since nothing happens by accident, make sure I didn't leave anything behind. Just for kicks. Ten of Cups. Knight of Wands. Knight of Cups. Six of Wands, the Chariot. Ha! Huh. Six. 
side story. I'm just going to throw this out there. If it's yours, take it. If it's not, leave it. Either someone has feuding children. At odds. They're facing away from each other. You see this? Do you see that? Someone's being pulled into different directions. Side story. It might belong to somebody. Specifically, just because this is the deck I use for my air sign readings. Virgo, if you have air in your chart. Like key placement. That might be your side story. One of your children, your two of you, they're fighting for attention. I feel like children are fighting for attention. I don't know why. I don't know why. Back to the main read. Where were we? Okay. Virgo, I might take notes on that and throw down a special reading about that for you. That seems like an interesting story. But it's a story for another video. Why the Ten of Cups? Reverse to the Ten of Swords reverse. Oh, wow. Incomplete cycles. Gee, who'd have thunk it? Okay. You're not happy because you're not allowing yourself to be happy. That's basically what that boils down to to me. The only one to end the cycles in your life is you. We postpone endings all the time. Don't ask me why we do it. I, I can't tell you that. I'm not a psychologist. I'm just a tarot reader. Why the Six of Wands reversed for how you feel about the person you're dealing with? You want to come out of the cold? You miss them. You want to be noticed. They don't see you. Nine of Pentacles. King of Swords, no, sorry, Four of Cups, Three of Cups, both in the reverse, King of Pentacles. They're ignoring you. You want them to see the success that you've become. Interesting. What do you think of them? Maybe they've become a success. I don't know. Seven of Pentacles. You want to start over and you're losing patience. Sun reversed. Oh, wow. You are not happy about being disconnected, are you? Not at all. You know, you can have stacks of cash. But if you're not happy, Emperor, you want to control the situation. Hmm. Super weird. Okay. Actions. Intended actions. Potential intended actions. Five of Wands reversed. Let's see. Avoidance conflict. Queen of Cups reversed. I'm trying not to show emotion toward it. 
trying to emotionally close yourself off to avoid conflict. Queen of Pentacles. Hangman. Oh. Five of Wands reverse. I can't make this shit up, y'all. Can't make this shit up. You're trying to avoid conflict with this person. You want them back. You're still hung up. But the Princess of Cups reversed. What's up with the Princess of Cups reversed? That's the outcome. I don't feel like you're saying much. Oh. friend zone page of wands oh oh god that's the friend zone maybe even slightly outside of the friend zone oh I can't take your cup because I have taken this wand from someone else yes we are close yes we go back a long way but I do not want your pentacles three of pentacles reversed I didn't want to build with you this needs to end. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Sad, sad, sad. Page of Swords. He's a little truth teller. And sometimes that poor little page tells us stuff we don't want to hear. One on the Page of Swords, please. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Hermit. Hermit. They're going deep, baby. They're on a journey. They're isolating themselves. They're trying to stay quiet. That, that's maybe why you feel like you're being ignored. Will the fortune reversed? Knight of Swords. <sighs> yes, they feel the unfinished business too. <sighs> One more. They don't know how to get this off their chest. They, they want to tell the truth. They may be trying to find the right time. This is burdensome and they can't release it. <coughs> Eight of Swords. Why the Eight of Swords for how they feel about you? This is anxiety. Six of Pentacles. Nine of Swords reverse two of Wands. You cause anxiety. They're in like decision mode. They they feel they're torn. Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands. They want to tell you the truth. They, oh gosh. I mean, they got a thing for you, but that's all it really is is a thing. Know what I'm saying? It's not a thing. It's a thing. Like sugar and spice and all things nice. You're picking up what I'm putting down thing. It's not stable. Speaking of being not stable, why the emperor reversed how they feel about you. Or what they think of you. Let it finish spinning. Two of pentacles. Juggling, weighing options, five of swords, four of swords reversed. You're restless. You're confrontational. You're going to get what you want. You don't give a shit what anybody else thinks. Possibly doing some juggling. Page of Pentacles. This is like small potatoes to them. Your king of pentacles, what you got going on, is small potatoes to them. Know what I'm saying? 
Not sure why. Don't ask the tarot reader. I don't know. You're a little much. Intended actions towards you, page of wands reversed. I don't think they're going to go for it. Page of wands. Page of wands reversed. Queen of swords reversed. What time is it? You about to get told. Hmm. Two of swords reversed. This is a painful decision. They're, they, they're having anxiety issues about this decision. They don't know how to tell you. Or they don't know how to tell you gently. So it's just, you're just going to get told what time it is. Eight of Cups. We're moving on. Why the Seven of Pentacles reversed? Ace of Pentacles. You see how it flipped? Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you made them wait. They don't want to wait for your Pentacle anymore. Eight of Wands reversed. They're done. Nine of Cups reversed. They're not happy. Page of Swords, Eight of Swords. Anxiety. Needing to speak truth, possibly not knowing how. I... <laughs> Three swords at the bottom of the deck. We're just going to run this. You got something unfinished, Virgo. And I think they know. Don't ask me how they know, but they know. There's something unsettled and unfinished within you. And it doesn't matter how many pentacles you got stacked up. It doesn't matter how big your offer is. They don't want it. Because you're... You're still attached to something else. Something else hasn't ended. And I don't feel like it's with this person. Part of it might be this person, but I... Dang. Oh. Cups, swords. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Oh, shit. Maybe you're being pulled in two different directions. Trying to get someone to notice you. Um, yeah, this goes way back. Something needs to go to for balance. You've been putting it off. It's only been causing confusion. You've been stuck at the crossroads too long. Putting off a new start. Ten of Swords, Reverse, Seven of Pentacles. Hermit, Hermit, guys. Guys, you gotta move on from this. You gotta walk the path and move on from it. Have patience with the process. You have to end something. Both them. Self isolation. The world. They're done with the arguing and the fighting because it's never ending. They got their nine cups. They're ready for they're ready for their tenth cup. And they know you don't have it yet. 
Wow. Dang. Nine of Wands. I would rather drop the tower on this and rebuild with someone who has the cup they want. Because they don't give a crap about pentacles. Dang. It's like the never ending freaking story, guys. I need a moonology on this. This just went like hella deep. Death. Strength reverse. This is just draining. Knight of Cups. Temperance. Wow. Give me a moonology. What are we doing here? Hmm. Too many. Try that again. Ah! Can I get one? Can you give me one, please? Thank you. Motions are running high. No shit. Okay. Apparently, or y'all wouldn't be coming to the tarot lady. Chaos and conflict. No shit. Okay. Emotions are running hot. Super moon. This card suggests that the answer to whatever you're asking is writ large, like the silvery full moon set against a velvety night sky. If you're wondering how successful something is going to be, such as a job or a relationship, the answer is very. To use common parlance, the answer to your question may well be that it's under your nose. This card is about being larger than life, being special and bursting with energy that you can tune into and work with. You can expect plenty of good things, a positive outcome when this card comes up, but you may find there's a lot of emotion to deal with too. There's also a sense that the opportunities around Whatever you're asking about, don't come along every day. So take action. Virgo, I think it's up to you to decide what action you need to take. Sounds like, feels like you've been sitting on something. Sitting back waiting for somebody to notice you. Getting frustrated because they're not noticing you. They're not noticing what you want them to notice. They noticed you. Think about that. Chaos and conflict, 33. Central meanings, disarray, being at cross purposes with another. The tension of opposites. The value of chaos before order. Look at my table right now. This is chaos. Stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. The incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want resolved. This is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, what's really important to you. Some things are non-negotiable. That's true. It's not necessary to fight. You can find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground? Soon the air will clear and you will be in a much better place than before, for the storm will have passed, blazing a path for new growth in its wake. Things can become electric and enlightened, always better than before if you use this time constructively. 
Not try to point fingers, Virgo. And remember, all things can be vice versa. So place yourself wherever you see fit. Apparently, somebody in this scenario doesn't give a crap about pentacles. They want cups. Figure it out. Virgo, know that you are loved. Be blessed. Have a bang in the rest of your January. And I will catch you guys in your next read. Peace, love, and light. Be safe.